Hey, hey, hello. Welcome on my channel, Tipple to Tarot. I'm going to do a collective reading for whoever needs it. This is a general reading um, and this will be collective for all the sign or anybody can watch this. And uh, it's a timeless. Whenever you will watch this, it is going to resonate with you, with your situation. If you're going through this all, okay, what I'm going to predict tonight now. So um, this is uh, whoever for whoever needs it. So it's mean that if this is not your story, this is not you're going to manifest or not thinking, then definitely this reading is not for you. This is for those specific people that they're going through this situation. They're manifesting this and they really want to work on this. So keep an open mind. This is a general reading, but you can book a personal reading with me if you want it. If you're interested, um, check out the description box. And also I will put in um, the comment box too. But be careful from the scammers, fake people trying to use my fake IDs. On YouTube and anywhere else or email address whatsapp numbers I'm not going to be responsible to be honest because I'm definitely going to I'm every day definitely uh, responding to this blocking these things but still if you're going to get scammed by these fake peoples uh, be careful okay because you're going to reach out to me only through authentic two ways that is given on my description box and in the comment box that is my Instagram link and my email address only two authentic ways Otherwise, everything is else is just fake and I'm not going to claim that. So be careful. So let's start the reading. Let's see what are you going through uh, right now and what's happening in your life right now for my viewers, whoever watching this. This is a gender free reading. Anybody can watch this. Uh, this channel is open for everything. So let's see. What are you going through right now? Okay, we have triumph success is of source so you could be air sign gemini libra aquarius are dealing with it okay so a lot of you i'm seeing this is your energy you are staying in your power you're using your logic you're using your mind uh, i'm like i'm feeling a lot of you you're clear now what do you want clearing the the old patterns old people uh, releasing those people and i'm also seeing that you're clear now finally things are getting clear for you like whatever the cloud was there in your mind or in your life you're just clearing that you're like no i know what do i want for some of you this is your intuitions are telling you like you're definitely focusing on your third eye chakra and crown chakra i'm seeing that you know what do you want you know what are you doing this is triumph success like something serious something you you know what do you want you're clear about it okay so and this could be a legal battle too like you're winning it some of you this is you're working on your you know um, passport visa trying to maybe get education trying to start something new and fresh maybe wanting to go somewhere else okay in a business or something this is something new that you're starting in your life clearly that what do you want and it's all in your head and you're very clear about it. it there's no doubt about it this could be a new person that you're dealing with right now and you're clear with this person like oh wow destiny so we have a 110 or you could be seeing 101 destiny yeah a lot of you you're opening your heart chakra victory and success here you go number six is very important so you're not going, you're definitely completing some cycle here. Look at this. It's a source to next to the, um, this Wheel of Fortune, by the way. This is the Destiny card here in this deck. So you could be Sagittarius, Pisces, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or dealing with these signs. Uh, I'm also getting Libra vibes here. So look at this. Um, you're closing some cycle here. It's like I'm done. You're moving toward whatever is written in your destiny. You're believing on your destiny. You're putting the faith on universe. And we have this uh, victory and success, six of wands. Yeah, here you go. Clearing the shit out and moving towards success, moving towards your victory, moving towards um, creating your destiny, maybe. Yeah, your focus is all about creating your destiny. Focus is your uh, working on your heart chakra, healing and releasing the past pattern. A lot of success. For some of you, you could be from music industry or going into a music industry or dealing with someone like that. Could be, you know, like writing something. Uh, could be music is very important here I'm seeing could be you 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 guys have a beautiful wise and you're singing you're meditating you're healing through your wise yeah something with the music something with the wise for some of you you could be hearing some type of vibrational uh, music something to heal yourself you know that is given on YouTube channel and other other things like trying to heal yourself listening by listening those uh, vibrations music and tunes you know like yeah this is what you're doing okay now we have the hope okay hope restored here for you seven plus one eight number 17 6 10 or one important here 
Hope here, yes. Your hope is restored. You're definitely hopeful for your future, hopeful for your success. For some of you, you're becoming successful, I'm seeing here. You really want to achieve something, some success in your career, in your life. You really want to achieve, you really want to be popular, you really want to get the fame and success. This is what you're focused on, okay? But I'm also seeing that there could be uh, communication is coming in your way if you're waiting for someone to come and approach you. So that is a possibility like you are going to talk to this person or this person is going to reach out to you after watching this video in within 17, 10 or 6 days or 16 or could be 10, 6, 17, or 1 week, you're going to, this person is going to reach out to you. They're going to finally tell you that how do they feel. They're going to clearly cut if they want to be with you or not. If they want to be with you, you're going to win with this, obviously. It's a victory. Your hope will restore here. But if it's not, then still you're going to like, okay. Okay, boo. Next then. If you're not, then next. That's what I'm seeing here. There's something that is coming in your way, like clarity, truth. You're finally knowing what do you want, where, where are you going. Yeah, look at this. I said truth and bottom of the deck is a truth judgment card. Yeah, rebirth. We have 1020. I also feel like some of you, this something could happen in 2010 for you. Or maybe this cycle is, is you are in a cycle uh, from 2010. You were maybe in a karmic cycle or maybe this could be coming your Saturn return or Sun return, something like that. I'm seeing here. Yeah, it could be Jupiter return. Because finally you're getting, your destiny is going in your favor. You're, you're getting good luck in a lot of things in the area. But this could be also like some type of a cycle that you're ending and finally the truth is coming out. After this 10 years, 6 years, 7 years, 8 years, 1 year you are dealing with this cycle. And finally you are in front of this um, situation and knowing basically what do you want. The truth is coming in front of you and we have the by the way Ace of Swords up here. Yeah, the truth is coming out. You could be dealing with Sag or Scorpio, but I'm seeing Libra too. Okay, let's see. What's happening for you? Yeah, Wisdom. Number five. For a lot of you, you whatever this the situation going through, you've gone through this karmic cycle or whatever the cycle you've gone through, you got a lot of wisdom from this. You're matured up now. You're leveled up. This could be, for a lot of you, this could be a commitment coming in your way. Like finally someone is... Okay, I'm definitely seeing two things here. So some of you, you're getting out of a marriage. You're ending some karmic cycle or karmic relationship with someone that you have been in. I told you in 10 years, 20 years have been with this person, 17 or 16 or 10 years with this person. And you're finally getting out of that unhappy marriage or relationship. For others of you, this is uh, your karmic cycle that you're ending with someone. Okay, you're finally, the karma is in your favor. Car you know, you're getting the fruits of your reward. Rewards, you know, uh, patience. I'm saying the patience, reward of your patience. Because you're getting victory and success because you were hopeful. You were positive, right? You were patient and finally your time is here. I'm seeing wisdom. Yeah, this could be commitment coming in your way with someone new. Or maybe the same person coming to you to offer you something serious. You're not going to accept this person if they're not going to be coming to you. That's what I'm seeing here. You're very straightforward with this person. Like, if you are really be with me, come in front of me. If you really want to be with me, you want to have a future, you maybe already tell this person or you're going to tell this person if they will come back to you. Like, you really want this person in front of you. One and one talk. You really want to tell this person. And you are. If you really want to be with, them, with me or want to have a serious you know, connection with me, if you really love me, go for it. Prove it. I want commitment. I want marriage or I want... Some proof. That's what you're going to do. Because you're not going to fool anymore here. This is the reading for specific people. They are leveling up, maturing up. And if this you're not in this situation, you still need to work on some soul learning or soul healing and wisdom. And you need to understand what is going through. If you're in a low vibration, you're not understanding what's happening. Because this is the energy I'm picking up here. I'm strongly feeling like, you know, air rising sign, like Libra rising, Aquarius rising, Gemini rising, or you have a sun, moon, sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun. There's something about air sign here. You have an air placement in your chart, especially in sun arising, because I'm seeing a lot of sun here, truth and clarity. You are cutting people out. You're not listening to anyone. Even though you're fire sign, especially if you're Sagittarius, if you are um, Scorpio, if you're Pisces, if you're, you're done. You're done with people. If you're Taurus, like you really looking for something authentic and serious, what is meaningful in the reality in 3D. Okay, no confusing, no confusing cycle anymore. But if you are in a low vibration and you're feeling exhausted, drained, 
painful and you're feeling sad, this is not for you. You're still in this energy. Yeah, like you need to heal. You need to get out of that. It's like a phoenix rising. You need to, you, you may be going through some purging still. That you need to get out of that karmic cycle. Intense healing, recovery. Let's see now. Yeah, suffering in silence. This is for the, those people. They're still suffering in silence. So number nine, you're having a difficult time uh, to recover from that something. Or some of you, you're getting a lot of anxiety, depression. You are overthinking a lot. Uh, for some of you, this could be giving you um, anxiety because of your success, because of you really want some achievement, success. You could be struggling with the finances. Maybe that's why struggling. you're struggling. For others of you, you are suffering in silence because your thought chakra maybe is closed. You're not still not getting, you know, look at this, the sun is reversed. You still, you're, there's a clouds here. Here, sun is shining. The people who are getting already wisdom, they know that what do they want. They know that they're looking for home. They're looking for something serious, right? They gain the wisdom through this all situation. And for others of you, they're still in this um, low vibration. Like they're still waiting for the sun. They're still waiting for this. There's a cloud here. They're still waiting for the truth. They're still not understanding what do they want. I mean, I'm, so, I'm also seeing, a, a, you know, um, mountains here. It's obstacle. You're still struggling. Yeah. So there is definitely two groups here. One is in a high vibration and other is still in there struggling. And that's what you need to do that. Listen to your crown chakra. Listen to your intuition. Listen to... Have faith on the universe and gain the wisdom, whatever you're going through right now. I know it's tough, it's tough, but it's really important for your soul learning. Yeah, intuition, what I said, number two. Listen to your intuition. Pisces card here. You have one, two, three, four, five, five major arcana from eight. Intense, intense, instant, intense here, intense reading. Intuition. So listen to your intuition. I feel like they're guiding you. We have the sun and intuition. I feel like you need to follow your intuition. Whatever your intuition is telling you, that's the truth. That's the truth. You don't need to hear the truth from this person. You need to follow your own intuition. And you know the truth. If you believe in your soul like this is the one, yes, it is. If you believe your intuitions are telling you, no, you're suffering in silence and this person is not giving you what do you want. And you're definitely waiting for this person waiting waiting it means you need to cut this person out listen to your intuition move on towards or maybe change your focus or direction somewhere else not on this person but yes you need to trust your intuition whatever you do you want if you want victory and success in your career your business or whatever you want to do something you need to trust your intuition yeah i'm definitely seeing a lot of partnerships and alliances in three of cups so some of you it's a union happening between two people could be from different culture religion i'm also seeing two different flags so maybe you both are living right now in a different places but you're coming into union. This is two people who love each other and this person is going to speak up their truth. And I feel like your intuition was right about it. All this that you were focusing on, your intuition was right. And I feel like you were hopeful. You were waiting for it. So, so this is the, the patient, reward of your patience. And finally, this person is coming. Three of Cups is a union. It's, it's Some of you, you are starting new friendships, new people. Look at this. I said new beginning, bottom of the deck, zero. Yeah, some of you starting with a zero. Meeting new people. You really want a new beginning. For some of you, this could be your business partnership. You're starting something new. Collaborating and projecting with someone new. But yes, it's a new beginning, guys. It's, it's, we are starting on the new beginnings and ending of the new beginning. New cycle. You're done with the past. You're done. You're like, no. No time for bullshit. No time for bullshit. No time for um, manipulative energy. No, no time for mind games. No. It's a no. You're not going to accept it until it's not going to be truth. You really want the other person to speak up the truth to you. You really want to listen. You were in, you were intuitive, your intuition was right about it. And finally, it's going to happen. This is happening. I'm saying in three to six weeks, one week or maybe three to six months, you're going to be finally knowing what, are you wa what, what do you want and where are you. Your heart-to-heart -heart conversation, someone is coming to talk with you. They definitely, I'm saying the truth is coming out finally. Yeah, be optimistic. Have have some hope. If your intuitions are telling you wait, yes, wait. But if you're feeling like no, it's a no. Free yourself. A lot of you, you need to surrender to the divine. It is going to happen for different people, different timing, obviously. Because it's, it's depend on your progress. It's depend on your blockage. Yeah, some of you, you're going to release your exes and releasing right now. Because you deserve love. Because that relationship was draining for you. You're not happy with that situation. And nobody should be in these relationships. Healing family issues. See, a lot of you, you're intense healing, going through intense healing, purging. And we have finances and career. So a lot of you, I'm also seeing that you're focused on your finances and career. 
because you're definitely waiting for the right person and releasing some people. Some of you, you're attracting someone, definitely. You're going to attract someone that you're going to reconcile with that person. It's a reconciliation. You're attracting your soul partner. You already met this person, some of you. Yeah. This is a reconciliation happening. You're attracting this person. And this person is being attractive to you when you focus on yourself. I'm also seeing passionate connection is coming in your way, no matter what. You're going to have a very beautiful connection with this person. But it's worth waiting for. Yeah, this is always the test. Patience, hope. Because this is true love. And this person is going to make the effort. And for others of you, you're like, no, it's not working. So you're going to release someone and you're going to meet someone new. Now let's see what's more here. Creativity. Yeah, a lot of you, this is you. This new person is coming to help you to... to um, you're going to create abundance with this person, maybe going to create a home together, you're going to shift house or live it together. This is something building together I'm seeing here. Wow, this is equal give and take by the way I'm seeing. This is building together I'm hearing from this uh, card when I saw this. This will be equal give and take or maybe now this person is ready to step up with you. Yeah, distorted masculine. For some of you, you're dealing with the distorted masculine or maybe this is your energy masculine and you is destructive because of this person that you're going through. You're having a difficult time to take action or they are having it, but they're going to make the effort. For some of you, you're releasing this distorted masculine who definitely destroy, destroyed your life. Love, yeah. A lot of you, you're loving yourself. You're in retreating energy. This is pure love, unconditional love and finding inner peace within you so you can attract your true love. And this is what you're attracting, by the way. Look at this, attracting your true love with this... Um, giving self-love to yourself. For others of you, this is someone that who has unconditional love for you and you're coming into union with this person because you're attracting this person. Yeah, chivalry. This person is ready. You're attracting someone who will shiver to you, who will be very like a, the man of a man, like, you know, treat you like a man. You like your man, you know. This person will be, feel like good enough honor to be your man or something this person is going to also give you a lot of gifts and being there for you support you i'm saying this person is going to support you whoever this person is this person is coming i'm saying you can see the flowers here this person definitely is a romantic love you're attracting and this person is going to fall in love with you or already you're in love and you're coming into union yeah compatibility this is someone you're going to be compatible that's what i was talking about this is what we are attracting and this is what we want and deserve right equal give and take and compatible with each other and being available to each other on all level emotionally you know this is what you're attracting okay so i really hope it resonated with you let me know in the comments i will see you in the next video bye